our YouTube and Fallout community. So Bethesda's had an article on Bethesda.net for a few days now about the upcoming DLCs. And I just haven't got around to making a video about it until now because I was doing like E3 kind of videos and shit. But we're going to we're gonna go over it just because it gives a little more detail than the videos did. So let's get right into the article. First up is Contraptions Workshop, which is, of course, $5, and however that equates to wherever you're at. Comes out June 21st. We actually have a date on there. That's kind of cool. And the article says, Machines that sort, machines that build, machines that combine. With Fallout 4 Contraptions, use conveyor belts, scaffolding kits, track kits, even logic gates to construct crazy and complex gadgets to improve your wasteland settlements. The Contraptions Workshop also includes all new features like elevators, greenhouse kits, warehouse kits, fireworks, armor racks, and more. Again, I'm not super into the settlements in Fallout 4, but I definitely like armor racks and weapon racks. That's something I really liked in Skyrim, where you could like kind of show off your badass armors you collect and things like that. So I'll definitely be using some of the uh, Contraptions Workshop DLC. Next up, of course, is the Vault Tech Workshop DLC, and it is $4.99, as of course. The, the workshops are always, seems to be $5. And it comes out July 2016. We don't know exactly, we don't have the date yet, but we have the month. And it says, build a brighter future underground with the all-new Vault Tech Workshop. Create a massive vault and attract dwellers using pre-war industrial kits complete with retro nostalgic furniture, lighting, and art. And like every good overseer, run Vault Tech approved experiments on your dwellers to learn what makes an ideal citizen. Vault Tech has given you the tools, you rest the rest is up to you. So, I don't exactly, like, it looks cool, definitely, when you watch, like, the, the kind of reveal trailer, whatever you want to call it. It looks fun. It's kind of interesting. It'd be cool to build a vault like that's not, you know, Fallout Shelter. But I don't know exactly what the running the experiments means. I don't know if that's something that's from Fallout Shelter because I've never played it. So I don't know exactly what that is, but building the vaults is going to be pretty cool. I mean, I think we all want to build a vault. And last but certainly not least, of course, is Nuka World, which we've known about for kind of a while because of game files and shit. It is $20 and it comes out in August. Again, no, no date, but we know the month. And it says, take a trip to Nuka World, a vast amusement park, now a lawless city of raiders. Explore an all-new region with an open wasteland and park zones with Safari Adventure, Dry Rock Gulch, Kitty, King Kitty Kingdom, and the Galactic Zone. Nuka World features new quests, raiders, weapons, creatures, and more. Enjoy the ride. And of course, this is the one that we're probably all most hyped for. This will give us a new area to explore, something like Far Harbor. It'll have new weapons, enemies, all that shit. So this is this is the big one that we'll be waiting for. It's going to be the one that's going to suck to have to wait for because it'll be a few months out. But this will be the good one. The thing to the, some things to take away from it, it is twice as much as Automatron was, which Automatron offered several hours of gameplay just for being ten dollars. But it is a little less than Far Harbor, so it probably won't have as much content as Far Harbor. But I think this will be good. I, I'm I'm hoping that it's at least a big area. I, I hope. I wonder if we're just stuck in the theme park the whole time, or if we can kind of go on the outskirts of it, maybe a certain area. Like, I don't know. But if you look at the cover for Nuka World, you can see that the, the woman is holding, she's in like a spacesuit or something, but she's holding the Nuka Cola pistol, which if you guys don't remember, whenever, before Fallout 4 came out, they, you know, they released a lot of concept art and stuff, and there was a Nuka Cola gun. And we've been kind of wondering where that was this whole time. Well, she's holding it in the, in the picture, so hopefully we can finally get the Nuka gun, Nuka Cola gun, whatever it's going to be called. I don't know exactly, <laughs> does it shoot bullets, energy, does it shoot Nuka-Cola, who fucking knows, but th it's going to be awesome to just have it. But the rest of the article reads, As with previous add-ons, we'll be running betas on all platforms before launching each new piece of content. Whether you're on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or PC, your chance to participate in the betas begins by signing up for, Bethes for a Bethesda.net account. When we're ready to begin the betas, we'll notify the selected participants. While Nuka World will be the final add-on for Fallout 4, things are just getting started with mods for the game. Since launching the creation kit in April, we've been blown away by the new content on Bethesda.net. Available to both PC and Xbox One users, and at the end of this month, PlayStation 4 fans will have access to the mods too. Look for more information in the, upcom in the coming weeks. So, we did get confirmation from them on Bethesda.net that this is indeed the last DLC for Fallout 4. Which, again, I mentioned in a previous video that I didn't know for sure, that I didn't see the Todd Howard say it himself after E3, but they confirmed it right there. So, uh, betas will be going out before long. I'm, I'm excited, guys. Nuka World is the main one, of course. I'll, I'll use a little bit. I'll probably fuck around with the vaults a little bit. I'll fuck around with the contraptions a little bit, but I think we're all just waiting for Nuka World. Later.